Yeah. Is a woman less of a woman if she can't cook a meal from scratch? We're boys. We're women. What? Men go to work for women. Wait, hold, what? You can't pay for my Wendy's. The f are we going to do from here? Wendy's not even $20. Okay. By 24, I had four kids, different dads. I'm like, okay, uh, so like, what, like, what are you gonna do? Are, are you trying to go? Like, why, why are you telling me? I want to get married, right? Someone who's like family oriented and want to have like a lot of kids. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video. I ask that you like, comment, also subscribe, click that notification bell just to be sure you get in my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this one. Is a man less of a man if he can't change a flat tire? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Is a woman less of a woman if she can't cook a meal from scratch? We're boys, we're women. No excuses. No, that's not a good answer. Do you believe we're in a transitional phase between women being old fashioned and being independent? Yes, we're already there. If so, what are we transitioning to? Feminism. I hope we're transitioning to women and men being equal. We're transitioning into a lot of women being cat ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Do you think a woman would be welcomed at a woman's march if she's pro-life or has traditional values? Nope. So do feminists really care not about nowadays. all women, or just the women who agree with them? Feminists do not care about women. <laughs> so is it really about women's choice? No, because it's not allowing each individual woman to decide for herself. It's not respecting each individual woman. Do a propaganda. Now, that's one of the women, right? She's old school, though. She's one million percent right. And is she getting it from men? No. She's getting it from herself because she's seen all of the independent women, all of the independent women. I can be with any man I want. All of the pro-life nonsense, not pro-life nonsense, pro-life is a good thing. She's seen all of the my body, my choice nonsense. My choice! My choice! And believe it or not, a lot of women are getting tired of it. They're getting tired of that. It's like a proper, it's like major propaganda. It's like media propaganda on the world. That's what feminists has created. And if they wanted the masses of media propaganda, always pushing the needle. For no reason. And women are even getting tired of it. Why can't we be equal? Why do you feel superior to me? Do you want a man that's taller than you? Yeah. Would you prefer a man that's stronger than you physically? Yes, I do. <laughs> Would you need you? <laughs> Absolutely. Would you be competent and more intelligent than yourself? I just said that. I, huh? Yeah. I can't. Mm, Doesn't sound agree. anything equal there to me. Ouch. Uh. You're not. That means that we are not equal. Yes, you've been gotten. Most women have been, been gotten. I mean, the delusion with the majority of them. And you know what has happened? Because I've seen videos on this stuff. And also I've known this. I've seen it happen in my lifetime. There's so many movies out there of women fighting men. You know what's wild? Every time I watch those movies with my wife, I go, babe, that's not possible. It's not. Because you... I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty strong guy. And if anybody ever seen me, sure, we go, yeah, why wow, the guy's big. You can take a woman that was a, a jujitsu master and put her in a room with me. Yeah, she'll get me. But the amount of power I'm coming with is going to overtake her. I lay my body on her and put her in a certain, in a certain hold down. She's not escaping me. I put her down a certain way, she's not getting up. And she's a master at it. Why is it? Why is that happening? The same reason why trans men shouldn't be able to compete in women's sports. That's the reason why. Well, women, women are the only prize. Men are Yes, she too. is. Women are the... We have intrinsic value. We are the prize. Like, what? What? Men go to work for women. Wait, hold, what? It's delusional. Yeah, why do you go to work? To I pay to... bills for your woman. No, for myself. If a man is going to work for women... Oh man, that that ship is sold. That ship is sold. She's, may I don't know. Maybe she's seen it with her family. I doubt it, but maybe she's seen that with her mother and father, and she may be of a culture where she's used to seeing it. But that's not the case nowadays, and men are carrying it like that. 
Why do you think there's so many women saying, guys aren't talking to women anymore? Guys aren't doing this anymore. Chivalry's dead. All of that's happening because nobody is doing things just to please a woman. Why? You've all said you can do it yourself. My body, my choice. My choice! My choice! Three, two, one. Oh, snap. Yo, you gonna coach me through it, bro? I'm killing this shit. We. We. That's crazy. Alright, 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 alright. Dang, you did that. Yeah, let me see that, John. Yeah. You did that. Uh-huh. Bae was dipping that, John. I was killing that song, bro. You was dipping it. Yo, I gotta say this. I gotta say this. From the last three clips you just seen, with a woman doing that. Now, that's not some support. Come on, y'all. Come on. That was some support. And not only that. Not only support, I'll take that back, right? Because somebody, somebody's gonna say, "Oh well, no, she was supporting. She playing with him." But look at what you look look what you just said, right? Either it's support, also she's joking around. A lot of see, a lot of, this is not happening. This is not the conversation nowadays. So seems like a good thing to me. Recently, I met this girl at this queer event and she invited me to grab drinks with her the following week. We go on this date and within the first 20 minutes, she drops on me that she doesn't believe in monogamy, she's cheated on her last two boyfriends, and she doesn't see herself ending up with a girl. So I'm of course like, okay, there's nothing here. Eternally, I never said that out loud. What I did say out loud was, oh, okay, interesting. Well, do you wanna just leave? Like, what's the point in trying to get to know you if there's such a complete difference in what we're both looking for? And she agreed and she came back with me and I haven't spoken to her son. So, the girl told you that she came back with you. So that means she hooked up with her. So she told you she didn't want to be with anyone. You gave her what she wanted. She wasn't there for a long time. She was only there for a good time. Some whining without the dining. Gave her what she wanted. She won. Wendy's and this man was like, yo, can I get your IG? And I was like, are you going to pay for my Wendy's right now? I like, pay for my bro. He was like, ha, ha, ha. Nah, you sturdy though. Follow my IG. I turned around and said, you think I'm joking? Pay for my Wendy's. The he said, nah, though, nah. I was like, you can't pay for my Wendy's. The f are we going to do from here? Like, the Wendy's is not even $20. But would you buy it then? You're not going to pay for it. The my point exactly. On my ID for. This guy, he think I'm playing with him. He thinks I'm playing with him. I'm not playing. Again, asking for my Instagram as he's bringing me up in Wendy's. I said, pay for my food. No. And then I was like, so you're not getting my Instagram? He's like, bro. I was like, we both not getting what we want then. Get my food. Like, why is everybody playing? Everybody want me, but not, don't want me to be. That makes no sense. Giovanni, make my straight. <laughs> make my straight. Who's that? Oh, you, you, you from around here? No. Giovanni, I'm talking about. I was like, no. I, I work around here, though. He was like, oh, you gonna get me into your store? Don't piss me off. You look like you're you driving the money, so what I gotta do with me? twice in the same yeah, store and one sitting is crazy though like let me breathe let me chill let me be who i need to be sweet and sour and then two sweet and sour and then two barbecue sauce Thank you so much. You're such a queen. Are you going to come back in? You going to help? Help. Yeah. That was some little girl stuff right there. I don't know what to say to that. But yeah, the guy worked there. Why would he buy your food? I'm confused. Like, why does he need to buy your food? And why is that the first thing women do? Give me some free food. Now, he gives her free food. You think she's giving him the time of day? Come on now. She ain't giving him the time of day. Why? 
because she wants to talk to him, she would have. If you could have, you would have. And she didn't. He let it go. Good thing. He says, pregnant at 15, pregnant at 15, first child. Supper ghetto? Oh, she spelled super wrong. But supper ghetto. Okay. By 24, I had four kids, different dads. Crazy ghetto. Why do you keep having kids? Then, by 27, I had five different kids. Dads, not married. Insane ghetto. But God is a deliverer. Deliverer and the restorer. I'm not the woman I used to be in sin. All right, so. You had all those, all those babies, right? This older gentleman here, because that's him right there, I'm guessing. And God is a deliverer because... You're not the same woman, the same baby number six on the way, different daddy, but he's my husband after 11 years of marriage. Okay. So this man must have had six of his own kids. And he, and he has to be an older gentleman. He's one of those guys that said, I'm done struggling in life. I got a woman. Maybe, maybe he, he had to have. He made, he made some compromises with her. said, look. You cook and clean. I take care of you, them six kids, and I bring mines. But you know what, though? Ah, man, you know what? You know what a lot of women are saying nowadays? Yeah, I got my six kids. But a man can't have no kids. And I'm not ready to give him any. And then she said, God is a deliverer and a restorer. That's good because you're married. But, man. Is that man getting a good deal? I hope so. Because you never know. I'm a firm believer and God changes and he restores. But a lot of times God's just getting bad deals. And a woman that's just in a congregation saying, yes, yes, yes. And then doing something else the next day. But I, 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 hope, you, I hope you lucked out though. She just went on the boat with all these guys and thinking that I should be okay with it. Yo, so I was dating this girl for quite some time. And at this point, the relationship was established and everything was good. This had been for quite like a minute. I forgot how long, but at this point, it'd been a minute. She comes to me one day and she's like, hey, so-and-so has a boat. Um, it's some guys. She's like, so-and-so has a boat. Uh, they invited me and some another friend is a chick. I'm like, okay, uh, so like, what, like, what are you gonna do? Are, are you trying to go? Like, why, why are you telling me? Is that what you want to do? The thing about it, you always have to see what people actually want to do. Don't sit here and tell them what they should do. See what they will do. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, like, you want to go on a boat with a bunch of guys that obviously don't want me there because they want more girls there, but you want to be on the boat with your chick friend, but you have a boyfriend. For me, I really didn't sweat it. I was just like, okay. I was like, well, do you want to go or do you not want to go? Because, yeah, there's nothing wrong with going out on a boat with a bunch of guys and, uh, you know, some girls. Yeah, sure. Nothing can go wrong. She ends up, like, beating around the bush like she didn't want to go, but she, but she wanted to go. <laughs> like, you don't bring that type of shit up and act like you don't want to go. She decides that she wants to go. For me personally, I did not make a big deal about it because for one, I'm not that type of person. For two, I like I said, I always sit back and see what people actually want to do um, and not tell them what to do. I end up having plans with uh, two of my boys. We end up going out uh, during the day and just like hanging out. Anyways, they end up going on the boat. And she's like posting all these stories, and, you know, trying to have everything out and like doing this and she was like doing the most and i remember like i commented or i actually texted her i was like hey like i don't like that you were doing this 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 or it was something that i didn't like this girl got so pissed off she stopped texting me she's on the boat for like hours like when i say hours it's like seven hours i at least seven hours i, I said hold up wait a minute something ain't right like, not she's like this that and the third she gets mad and acts like a child which I can't stand when people act like that. She wasn't really texting me back, and then I knew she was back from the boat, so then I go over to her apartment, whatever, and uh, I knock on the door, she doesn't answer. Whatever, I waited out. Like 15 minutes or so, she opens up the door and gets ready to go out to the club or some short-ass dress on, like, dressed 
crazy. When I say crazy, crazy. And girls will say, oh, you're being insecure, telling her how to dress, blah, blah, blah. If I'm dating someone, that's representation of me. I don't want her dressing like a, a you know what. Like I like women to have like self-respect in the way they dress. You don't have to have everything out to have, like get attention. We got into it later that night. Let's just say we ain't together no more. Uh, yeah, like as soon as she said she was going to the boat party with guys. All right, uh, don't, don't call me anymore. You got to be like that. Like that story shouldn't have even been said. Like I'm telling the same story. Oh yeah, she went to a boat party with some guys, and then I told her don't call me no more. <laughs> and it's over. I'm not trying to be like, oh, you know, I'm the most stoic guy, I'm the most cool guy, I'm the most, you know, hard guy. That's not at all. It's just that most men have to cut their losses before they become losses, right? Because he put a lot of emotion into it. He cared, all, and I'm sure he he was a lot more graphic you know a lot more you know excited than that he was a lot more into it oh babe you, i don't want you going on that boat who knows maybe not because he played it off kind of cool but yeah why put yourself through it she but instead of that girl there who was a nightmare a guy would rather have this here what's your ideal type i want to get married right so someone who's like family oriented and want to have like a lot of kids come on that's the way i like it and who's like masculine have you ever met someone like that not yet i don't know oh man so this girl is out in korea fiending to meet a masculine man and she wants to have a lot of babies now you know you know it'd be funny a guy comes Moonwalker backwards, because I would do stuff like that back in the day. <laughs> I was the coldest. I moonwalk back. I hear her saying it, moonwalk back. I'm like, hey, girl, I'm here. How you doing? What's your name? <laughs> ah! And super right off her feet. But that's what somebody's going to do. Somebody's going to walk right up on her. And it's, it's wild because I've seen women say, it happens in the States, women say, you know, I don't get guys that I take seriously. And it could be possible. Or maybe a guy just doesn't want to... Maybe the guys are shy there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she hasn't come across anybody. She's not in that same circle. She hasn't put herself out there like that. I don't know what it may be, but let's hear her out. I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic, so I don't, like, worry about things too much. If he made me to be his wife and, like, mother of junk. his child, I want to, like, a lot of babies. You know what I mean? You like babies? I love babies. I want five of them. <laughs> or more. <laughs> really? So, like... I love babies. What actually, like, got you interested into babies a lot? Because they're adorable, and they're, like, like men and me. They got my genes and stuff. They got my genes and my husband's gin. That's, like, that's going to be adorable. I love that. What is your Instagram ID? UJO underscore Y-E-O. Are you currently dating someone right now? I'm not dating someone, unfortunately. Oh, hold up. Oh, man. Damn. She's... She in trouble. She just gave out her Instagram. Ooh, someone's in trouble. And said, I'm not dating anybody right now. Now, you guys don't <laughs> go berate her, but no. She says she wants a lot of babies. Now, you run up on her. Listen, lady, because she seems drunk right now. I don't know. Maybe I should contact her and say, were you drunk in that interview with Ha Ha Sammy? Because she looks drunk. Look, you, need to, you want a man? You want a husband? Stop going outside getting drunk and you'll find one. Because the guy's not going to trust you being out intoxicated and wobbling all over. But you know what's wild? A lot of guys will mess around and take the chance because they're going to look at it like, wait, she's only human. She's only human. And she's adorable. And she's gorgeous. And she's kind. And she's generous. And I want a woman like that. And guys are going to find women like that because they will realize. This is the way. It's definitely more than life. They're going through anything that's not like her. I hope you're happy, but don't be happier.